Welcome back to the polo field at Westworld of Scottsdale where we are at the 2024 Future Collector Car Show. So 2023 was actually the first year that Barrett Jackson, who is a worldwide renowned name in the collector car industry, has partnered with FCCS. And today is the second round of that collaboration. So what you see around it on this field is a wide variety of cars. We have everything from imports, domestics, a 1930 Ford all the way to a current model year car. So obviously being kind of an import fanatic, this 98 Lexus SC300 totally stood out to me as I was walking past. It's got a stunning pearl white paint job and some nice subtle upgrades. So today I'm standing here with the owner named Ren. Ren, nice thank you for you. taking the time to meet up with us. And so this car, even though it looks subtle and like OEM plus upgrades, there's a lot going on here that more than meets the eye. So tell me, first and foremost, I know you did some special upgrades to the drivetrain. Tell me about that. So uh, back in, I believe, uh, 2019, I I converted this to a factory manual transmission. Yeah. Uh, originally, um, it's a 1998, so they never made these in manual for 1998. So I went uh, and bought every factory manual part I can find um, and converted it to a 100% factory yeah. manual vehicle. Pretty stunning feat of achievement. And so that first generation Lexus SC, if those of you who are watching might remember, could come with a couple different drivetrain options. You could get the inline six, the famous 2JZ GE, or you could get a 4.0 liter V8. So this car came from the factory and it still has, right? It's original 2JZ. Still has a stock um, 2JZ GE. 210,000 miles, by the way, and you would not knowing it from look at this car. It is absolutely mint condition. Uh, I wish the sun were out today so we could see that pearl white paint popping, but phenomenal condition. And there's equal attention to detail that went into the interior. So, Ren, tell me about the conversion that you did with the seats, the upholstery. So, it was originally a tan and brown interior, and I actually just finished the black interior uh, conversion uh, just a few months ago. Nice. So, I handpicked all the black parts um, that I could find on the internet, their junkyards. I, I made sure uh, to find the, the best condition black interior parts, and uh, once I had everything pieced together, I threw it all in. Yeah. And and uh, as you can see, uh, you can still see some tan in there. My uh, the the leather seats are still in really good condition, so I decided to keep them tan. But I will eventually make a rewrap them with black leather. Nice. Uh, it's a really cool contrast because was pearl white over black ever a factory option? It was not really. Yeah. I mean, they're out there, but very rare. Right. Very rare. So, 17 years into this build, is it finally kind of what you would consider complete, aside from maybe finishing up the seats, or I was there still a long list of stuff you want to do to it? Um, I'm going to do the engine next, so that's my the next thing on the list, because the, cool. the engine has never given me any issues. It's always ran pretty strong, but uh, I have a 1JZ engine that I, uh, I'm going to pop in. Nice, uh, nice. Hopefully soon. A few upgrades. Uh, real quick, tell me about your wheel and tire setup. So these are Varstone wheels. Uh, they're, they're, they're just replica wheels, but I like how they look and fit. And uh, they're 18 inch uh, with the with the staggered fitment. Yeah. And and uh, um, I like the beefy stance in the back. They like fill out the wheel well real nicely. But yeah, I like the poke, the poke in the back. So yeah. I'm very happy with how they turned out Definitely. on this car. Well, and then aside cosmetically uh, from the, the clear side markers, you obviously have a custom front lip here. What's that off of? So um, I sourced that from Japan, uh, the front and rear lip. Um, it's, it's made by a company called Big Wind. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, a, it's a fiberglass uh, reinforced plastic lip um, that looks very factory looking cool. which, is, which is what I was looking for yeah so um, it's a very nice fitment and I was you know that's that's pretty much the look I was looking for right on well it is a stunning build and you know it's one of those cars that I think just gets better with time uh, it's hard to believe this car is now over 25 years old yeah, so it's crazy <laughs> it's not even just a future classic classic car it's a current classic car and the lines I think age very well and kudos to your wife for supporting you I know she's here in the show somewhere but uh, <laughs> uh, anybody who can put up with a car person's sort of obsession, props for hanging in there with us. Mm -hmm. And Ren, thanks again for taking the thank time. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you.